Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing well. And today's video is slightly different compared to what I've been posting for the last two weeks I would say, which is a lot of vlogs. Um, but I wanted to react to my, sorry it's just Amy messaging me, um, because fun fact, in March um, myself and Amy we are participating in the Great Ormond Street walkie talkie climbing up the stairs fundraising event um i will leave a link down below but if you could it'll be great for you guys to sign up it'll be so fun and i can't wait for like amy and i to like fundraise and to raise money for great and Winchester hospital because you all know that it is part of me and it has been for the past 17 years so yeah um apart from that um i forgot what i was gonna say yes i wanted to react to my 2018 resolutions and i actually posted a video this year on the 26th of January talking about them however I have not watched this video literally since I posted it so basically I have forgotten what my resolutions were so I want to see if I've actually done them how far I've come and to see if I'm going to be carrying them over to next year because I will probably be filming my 2019 resolutions after this video and yeah I hope you guys enjoy and let me know in the comments down below what your new resolutions are from this year and if you've met them because it'll be really interesting to see and it's also good to give me ideas and that was just my neighbour. <laughs> Sorry. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So I'm just gonna be like playing it on my laptop here on YouTube my account. Um but I won't be able to put it on the screen because I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to do that. So I will just type up what my resolutions were because I have no idea at the moment. Okay, I'm just pausing to the point where we're starting, um, where I talk about my first resolutions. But can I just say how much shorter my hair looked? And it was so curly. I remember the day before I was like plying my hair, but oh my god, it's actually grown quite a bit. Okay, so my first resolution was to buy and use a planner and not gonna lie I think I've done that this year like it's definitely not 100% because I, I'm still not organized and if you watch the video you'll know that I spoke about wanting to stay more organized this year and while I've got a planner actually like five different planners like I don't know what I do I keep starting one and then I just don't finish it and I've got so many different ones and I just use them and then I just don't use them again for like six seven months um but I definitely think I have actually used a planner with for like for different reasons for like school YouTube videos planning like different like when I've got appointments or like little meetings and um, for other stuff and it's just something that I've done very well I would say this year apart from being organized because I'm still not organized in the sense of like keeping my room clean or like getting all my work done on time and stuff like that but I feel like using that planner has helped so def definitely from this year on I want to carry on that for next year <laughs> so I just watched my second resolution and it was to become healthier and I have not done that at all like genuinely this is one that I could say I've not completed literally zero like I have not become healthy I feel like it's the opposite like I keep eating junk food but I think that is because of doing A levels and stuff like that I just want to eat my comfort food and the only time I've proper eaten healthy it was literally like three weeks, three weeks ago when I was in hospital the day I came like I got discharged and I remember I was just like eating lots of greens and stuff like that like spinach kale and everything like that but then that was only for two days and that was it and like don't get me wrong I do eat vegetables and stuff like that but I'm still not eating healthier than I was last year so I will definitely be carrying that on next year I would say like in terms of eating breakfast and stuff I have been eating more this year than I did last year because I struggled eating breakfast a lot last year but I have been eating like porridge when I can, like taking the porridge pots to school, um, which I guess is healthy. I, I would, I feel like it is. Um, but yeah, I haven't met that one at all, I would say. So my third resolution was to go out and play netball, go to the gym, and yet again, I have not done it. Um, and that is something I will definitely try to do next year because my friend Amy, all know has signed up for the gym and she keeps making me go with her but I just can't be bothered so I'm definitely gonna try do that next year and um, especially because 
I have wanted to go this year, but when we did sign up and stuff, it was just at the time of Mox and me getting unwell. So I will definitely do that next year. Um, Amy, if you're watching this, let, can we actually go in the next week or so, actually? Because we might as well. Um, and yeah, I've not done that. Especially netball, like, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I don't have a passion for it compared to what I did, like, two years ago. So yeah, um, that is, again, another zero. My fourth resolution was to start yoga, and surprisingly, I have actually done that. Um, so four or five weeks ago, my teacher, well, not personally my teacher, but a math teacher at our school, decided to set up a yoga class for sixth formers, and I've been doing that for the past three weeks, well, before, when school um, was on for the past three weeks, and we're starting it again in January. So technically, I have met that resolution, and I think I did do one or two sessions earlier this year, but I can't really remember. But I am so glad, because yoga really has helped me um, in terms of feeling less stressed with exams and homework and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm actually really happy that I've met that. My next resolution, whoops. I don't know what that was, um, is to find better ways to deal with my anxiety and I think I've done that really well as well because um, for example I've learned when to leave situations if I was scared or out of a group or just generally like for example if I was out somewhere with friends or shopping or whatever and if I got anxious I would tell them and that's something I would never do beforehand and Another thing that I do, and I think I did talk about it, but I haven't got there yet, is doing puzzles, which really helped with getting, when I used to get stressed, and I'm literally doing one now, um, and I completed one two weeks ago, if you see my, um, decorating my Christmas tree vlog video, um, but they are so fun to do, and I feel like people think I'm so lame for doing them, but I actually don't care, because they really help me. And it's something that I'm hoping to keep going through for the next few years, or never, to be honest, because I find them so satisfying, so fun, like, every time I do it, I watch something, so it's not just focusing on that, but it is also good for having something just to focus on, and I just love it, doing it as a break. I've definitely achieved, like, trying to improve the ways I deal with my anxiety, not that I've overcome my anxiety, because I don't think that will ever happen, but at least I'm learning how to deal with it, and... And how to overcome situations. So there are two resolutions in like, which combined together, and it was to see a counsellor because in the video I was mentioning, which I completely forgot about, but um, it was I was talking about how I wanted to see a counsellor, but I wasn't ready yet, and the doctor recommended for me to go, and that I have not achieved because I'm still scared of going to talk to someone. I still I'm not able to. However. The second part was to obviously deal with the anxiety and to try and resolve, like, and to try and reduce my panic attacks. And that I have done because I've tried to remove myself from any possible situation. So now I feel as though, personally, I don't need to see a counsellor. However, like, I am really glad that I'm literally reduced my panic attacks and that I don't get them as much. And I think that's because I've learned when... I am happier and when I'm not oh sorry my neighbour just got something in the post because I printed off a group picture from our Christmas day and I wrote like a little message saying thank you so much oh that was really and she just sent me a message saying she got it um but yeah I don't know what I was talking about I've got really bad memory um something about yeah but just basically reducing like my panic attacks which has definitely happened so i'm really glad that i've done that oh this is this is my favorite resolution it was to travel more which i 100 percent completed like i am so happy and so thankful that i was able to do this so this year i've basically gone to where have i gone so edinburgh which was basically in january like december last year january this year for new year's i went to rome venice florence uh uh, Poland um, then I went to Budapest Vienna Dubai um, and then Barcelona and Madrid like I am so thankful that I have been to all these places this year so I have definitely met that and I've had the best time most of these holidays were with my mum and dad and then 
Poland with a school trip, um, then Dubai was with my mum, my brother and my cousins and my auntie and then Budapest and Vienna was with my neighbours. So yeah, it's been amazing. Like I've literally gone with all my, with a, a range of people. So it's been so good. And obviously next year I won't have that as a resolution because obviously I've done so much this year and next year I've got my A-level exam so I'm not going to be going away as much. However, I honestly don't mind because this year has just been amazing. Like, oh, I've had such a great time. Um, so yeah, I'm really thankful that I could go. Like, even with Barcelona and Madrid, we thought I wouldn't go on holiday because I was unwell. So yeah, I'm so glad that I went and I had such a blast. So yeah, I'm glad I met that one. <gasps> oh my god, I was just watching back and I completely forgot and I spoke about how I want to go to Wales and I did that as well. When did I go? I think I went in March, so I completely forgot about that one. So I'm glad that I, that I reminded myself from that video. <laughs> so the last resolution was it's like two combined again, was just to be happy and to spend time with friends and family and I definitely think I've achieved that because I would say 2018 has been the one year where I have felt that I could be alone and still be happy if that makes sense like I'm happy to be in my own space and I don't know I don't need someone else or a group to help me feel like happier and I'm quite glad that I've achieved that because I know that if I go to uni next year I will be alone in terms of having to live by myself and obviously there will be flatmates but I'm glad that this year I've achieved that and I've learned to be okay with being alone if that makes sense like I'm so I love going out to places alone like if I'm going shopping, I love being alone. If I'm going anywhere, I honestly love having the time to myself. And I'm glad that I can achieve that. Um, because I think that's such a big thing to deal with. Like, some people might find it hard. And I used to find it hard, but now I'm really glad that I can do that. Um, and spending time with friends and family, I have definitely done that. Um, as well, like, obviously because my brother was at work um, and at uni and stuff. It was mainly me, my mum and my dad. But in some ways, it still has... I still have achieved it because we've done a lot like going on holiday so we've definitely got a lot closer which is great and yeah I hope you enjoyed it and I will definitely film I'm um, probably not after this because my mum was nagging saying that I need to help her clean up so I will do that but I'm going to be filming my 2019 resolutions now that I've got this in mind of what I haven't achieved and what I have it's great because now I can like achieve new things and yeah I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you next time bye <laughs>